Yes, please, ladies and gentlemen. You're damn right. I've got a big smile on my face. I'm here talking about Eric Ten Hag. And I tell you what, things have really got advanced. If things have got more advanced in the last 48 hours since I've gone on holiday, then maybe the start of this video won't be appropriate, but the content still will be because I'm going to talk about three signings that Eric Ten Hag could make from Ajax that could transform this Manchester United team into the sort of possession-based, ball-playing, confident, dominant team that he has at Ajax that currently he doesn't have, he won't be able to have at Manchester United, not with this squad of players. So I'm going to run through three signings that he could bring in from Ajax that could transform us. So make sure you drop a like on the video. Make sure you go down there, hit that subscribe button as well. Boom. Hit that notification bell as well. Boom. You don't want to miss any sort of sweet, sweet Ten Hag content. And there is going to be plenty of that. But look, if you look at this Manchester United team, right? This Manchester United squad, and you're looking at the problems. There's three key problems, right? Number one. Being able to play out from the back with the ball. Number two, actually having a ball playing playmaker who can sit deep. And number three, scoring goals. They are three of the key issues at Manchester United that we have currently with this set of players. And three issues that Eric Ten Hag will definitely look to be sorting if or when he comes in as, Man as Manchester United's new manager. And number one on that list is probably Jurian Timber. Timber. Jurian? I'm going to call him Jurian. Julian Timber, 20-year-old from Ajax. He is a centre-back, and he has come through. So at Ajax, we all know that uh, Delict he was the big one. Delict went to Juventus. He had to be replaced. Uh, they brought in, uh, I think it was Martinez they brought in, and then Daily Blim played alongside them at, at that time. But then Timber came through from the academy, and the 20-year-old has established himself inside that Ajax setup now. And now it's Martinez and Timber playing alongside Blind at left-back. And Blind has pushed out Tagliafico. Timber is somebody who, look, right, all you've got to do is take a look at the stats. If you look at a transfer marker, he plays across the two main positions and he also plays left and right back, but I think it's right centre-back where he plays. Or is it left centre-back? It doesn't really matter because it can change at Manchester United. But look at these numbers, eh? Jurian Timber. He is in the top, top tier. For passes, attempted pass completion, progressive passes, progressive carries, dribbles completed and progressive passes received which means he's quite an aggressive. He's quite a forward-moving centre-back. Blocks 87%. You know, it's, it's more the focus on his ball-playing abilities than it is a focus on how many tackles he puts in the game or how many interceptions he puts in the game. If you're looking at centre-backs that he's similar to, they've gotten down as similar to Eric Garcia at Barcelona, a ball-playing centre-back. So the thing that I'm looking at here now is if I go over here, and it's quite simple, it's straight in there for Harry Maguire. No questions asked. Timber goes in there and plays alongside Rafael Varane. That allows Manchester United to, instead of playing with a defensive line, which is sat maybe there, the arrival of Timber all of a sudden means Manchester United can bring that defensive line up to around about there. We can make the pitch smaller. We can squeeze the space. And Timber playing alongside Varane, that's a partnership I could get behind. But he's number one on my list of players that I think he could bring in from Ajax. Now, look, to any Ajax fans who might be watching this, I say thank you for Eric Ten Hag as long as it happens. Um, sure you enjoyed him. I'm sure we will too. This isn't uh, me saying that we sh he should go in there and just have like a fire sale and just rip Ajax apart. I don't think Ten Hag would do that. I don't think he'd have the integrity to do that. But Ajax have built their business model over the years of bringing players through the academy and at certain stages setting them on and then replenishing the cycle. No doubt that will happen this year. So there will be stars that leave. And maybe one of those stars... There's a really big star here, I would argue. That's Anthony. The Brazilian right winger who was brought in in 2020 with the, with the likes of uh, Ziyech leaving. I think Neres left as well. There's been a huge replenishment from Eric Ten Hag. And Anthony is somebody who didn't come through the academy, was brought in, I believe, from Sao Paulo, but somebody who really has lit the Eredivisie up. He's inside that Brazilian national setup now. 23 appearances, eight goals and four assists. He is down as a right winger, a pure... Out and out right winger. And if we're looking to take a quick look at Anthony's stats and see what sort of player he's like, well, ladies and gents, he's extremely, extremely impressive. Um, I don't know what input was that. Non-penalty expected goals, 85%. Total shots per game is in the top 2 percentile. Assists per game is in the top 1%. Expected assist. Look at that. Look at that. 97s and 94s everywhere. Eight in shot creating actions. Excellent. Passes attempted. Excellent. Pa progressive passes. Progressive carries. 
Top 2% progressive passes received. That means that balls, four, balls played forward towards him. He receives 12 per game. He's great at that. And interceptions, he puts himself about. He moves. What does a uh, transfer market say? Well, FB ref, sorry. What does he, who does he say he's like? This will make you smile. Neymar and Serge Nabry. Look at the other names on that list. You can see what sort of player he is. Riyad Mahrez, Di Maria, Sane, Mount, Christopher and Cuckoo. That's interesting, that one. And of course, maybe the player that he came in to replace. Look at that. Hakim Ziyech. Look at that. That's quite interesting. Anthony is the sort of player who could come into Manchester United. Let's go back to the tactics board here. And I'm not saying kick Alanga out of the team. Absolutely not saying that. But it's for Manchester United, we really cannot be relying on a 19-year-old breakthrough player to play there every single week for Manchester United and expect us to be competing for the Premier League and Champions League on all fronts. Or maybe you can. Sometimes there are players that are able to do that, but I think it would be slightly unfair to expect that of him straight away. So if we're looking at this there, if we're looking at Timber coming in and all of a sudden Manchester United can play with a much higher line, can play more aggressive and more importantly, can play out from the back with the ball, Anthony comes in and gives us a whole different dimension as an actual true winger. Somebody who's equally as comfortable as going wide, hanging wide as he is playing with the ball at his feet. Someone like Anthony and Sancho, that is an electric pairing on the wings and both of those players coming from Ajax. Now, for me, I would say Anthony feels like, if we're looking at the transfer stories that have happened, right? Anthony seems like the, the, the main player who's been linked with Man United right from the very, very start. Now, Jurian Timber, we've been linked with him as well. But there's one more player who I think we all know who it is who would be a bit of a game-changing signing. And I've just said it, but I've got to contradict myself here. You know, I, how, we can't really rely on a 19-year-old to come in and be that sort of um, player that we need on the right wing. You know, Anthony Langer, X, Y, Z. And I'm about to go and talk about Ryan Gravenberch. Now, the reason I put him number three on that list because, in my opinion, I think Gravenberch to uh, Bayern Munich feels like it's going to happen. He's spoken about it. Bayern Munich have been in talks with Ajax for some time. They're still talking about the price and the package, X, Y, Z. But maybe it changes if Ten Hag is coming to Manchester United. Maybe Ten Hag can have that phone call. And if he has that phone call, someone like Ryan Gravenberch is a player that we could really do with. Not only that, 27 appearances, two goals and five assists, five assists, which is incredible really from his position. He is a pure central and defensive midfielder. If we're looking stats-wise, look, again, a very similarity, a big similarity. If we were to go back here and look at Jurian Timber and these ones here, progressive carries, dribbles completed, touches in the attacking penalty area. Wow, 98%. And uh, passes received. He's not really... He's not going to be... Gravenberch wouldn't be like that ball-winning, uh, pure out-and-out -out defensive midfielder. The person who should be on this list that he's similar to, actually, I haven't looked at this, but there you go, straight away. Top of the list, Frankie de Jong. That's exactly who Graven Birch was brought in to replace and exactly who he's replaced. If he came into Manchester United, he would go straight in there for Scott McTominay and Manchester United would all of a sudden have a player with the ability and the confidence to all of a sudden drop deeper here, receive the ball from Timber or Varane and actually bring it forward. Now, that is a key position which we just have not had. The deeper line playmaker, that's what we've missed. That quarterback, if you want to call it that, whatever you want to call it, what Frankie de Jong did in that 2018-19 Ajax team and Graven Birch does now in this 2022 Ajax team. That's the player he is, and that is a huge, huge, crucial player that Manchester United have missed would allow Fred to focus on receiving the ball more on the halfway line, which we know is, is a better position for him. It just makes kind of sense. It does. It means that Fred can concentrate maybe on ball winning and just getting the ball to Graven Birch and he could build from deep. And Bruno could then operate in this sort of area of the pitch, which we know is where he's at his best. Those three signings there. Disclaimer, this is not, this is not me saying all three are going to happen. It's not me saying that any of them are going to happen. I'm saying if they did happen, or all of them were to happen, it would transform the look of that Manchester United team. It would bring that Ajax twang, more than a twang, three out of 10 outfield players, 30%. Go Sam, look at my maths. Um, unlikely, very unlikely. I'd be interested to know, right, in the comments, you let me know. If Manchester United are going to sign one of these players, Anthony, Gravenberch, or Timber, who would you want?
Would you want that ball playing centre back that could probably partner Maguire? Would you want that deeper lying playmaking midfielder that someone like Frankie de Jong, but a younger version of him? Or would you want that exciting, exhilarating Brazilian winger in Anthony? All different types of players. All, as I said, coming in and doing things inside that squad that we need to improve massively. If I'm being completely honest, I'd be torn between Gravenberch and Timber. And realistically, I th as I said, I think Gravenberch is probably going Bayern Munich. So I think Timber would be who I would choose. But who would you choose out of those three? Do you think any of them would be good? Or do you think all of them would be good? You let me know what you think in the comments below. But I'm now, I'm, I'm officially allowing myself to get excited about Ten Hag. I've held out on doing videos like this, but I shall hold out, hold out no more. And hopefully the, the, start, the start of this video is a little bit uh, out of context because it's been announced by the time it's out. But as I said, I'm going away for a few days, so I'm getting this recorded before I leave. But make sure you drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV because I tell you what, with 10 hard at the wheel, we've got some exciting times coming ahead.